Hey everyone, this is going to be a follow-up video to the first video on um, how to automatically download financial statements. So the one right before this was income, how to download the income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement. Um, and I can show you just as a follow-up. G-O-O-G-L is Google's ticker symbol. I'm going to hit run. It's going to pull the income statement, the balance sheet, and the cash flow statement. So that was the first video we did, how to create that fairly basic but this video is going to be how to upgrade this macro to do some cool stuff um, that uh, kind of make it a little more user friendly and uh, I don't know just cool things you can do so first thing I think we can do is uh, maybe we don't want all three of these and we only wanted to import one or two of them uh, we can create some check boxes that say check this box if you want income statement or check it if you want balance sheet uh, the way we do that is by going to developer hitting insert and then there's a checkbox form under form control, uh, so you can click there. Um, so I've already made some checkboxes before, so this one comes in as checkbox 11. For you, it might come in as checkbox 1 or 7 or something like that. Uh, so checkbox 11, um, I remember that. So I'm going to put right here, I'm going to do uh, income statement, and then I'm going to import another one. Just go right there, and over here I'll do balance sheet, it's checkbox 12, and then I'll do another one over here, and I'm going to do box 13 is a uh, cash flow statement um, and I'm, we're gonna get rid of these later but this is just notes for ourselves right now so we make sure that we do them the right way when we write this code so we want to make it so if we check a box here um, check for income statement check for balance sheet check for cash flow statement we can uncheck it if we don't want it we check it if we do want it so we go back to our code if you look at the uh, the macro that we wrote on the last video this is all the same thing but I'm going to modify it a little bit so that part of this macro won't run if the box is unchecked. So we don't want it to run the income statement if I uncheck that box. And so what I'll do is I'll put here if, uh, and then we want the inputs sheet. So uh, sheets inputs dot shapes uh, check box 11 and so it needs to be check space box space and then the number uh, in quotes in parentheses dot control format dot value and now we're saying if the box is checked then continue uh, which means the value needs to be a one so a one represents checked then do this stuff and then once you're done, end if. So all if statements need to be blocked out with an end if. So we're saying if on sheets inputs the shape for checkbox one, uh, then do the um, the income statement, IS for income statement, right, on the income statement. Um, and so the reason we do sheets inputs is because we're not going to be on the input sheet. We're going to be doing, um, we're going to be on the income statement sheet when this runs. And so we need to check the input sheets, the shape for checkbox 11. Um, now that we know that it's going to be checkbox 11, I could actually rename this as income statement. Um, and that won't change the coding at all. So, if I, so now for the user, you can see income statement and check it or uncheck it. Um, so I'm going to uncheck it and then I'm going to run this and see if it works. So let's go back here. Look at that. It's blank because income statement was unchecked. So I'm going to check it and run it again double check and there it is so income statement worked this time uh, because it was unchecked so I'm gonna do the same thing for this and for this so 12 and 13 are balance sheet and cash flow statement so I'll just do that real quick and actually what I'm gonna do is copy this control C scroll down here um, after the cells dot clear I'm gonna hit enter control V change checkbox 11 to checkbox 12 and then scroll down here do an end if and if and then under cells.clear, I'll do control V and checkbox 11 becomes checkbox 13. Scroll down here, do an end if. And now we should be okay. Um, I'm going to uncheck all of them and see if nothing happens. Hey, look at that. All right, so none of them. So that was pretty useless to run it that way, but now we know. Um, so only the cash flow statement. Run it. Only the cash flow statement. The other ones are blank. So perfect. So it looks like it's working. Um, we c you can rename these checkboxes by right clicking on it and it uh, opens up a little uh, menu and you can hit edit text and then highlight and do uh, this one's balance sheet 
and then this one right click on it edit text and it's uh, hold down the delete key to delete and then uh, oh, cash flows I have cash flow statement uh, and then it's a little bit too small there we go so now we don't need these anymore those are just notes so now we have income statement balance sheet and cash flow statement and then if you want to move these so they're kind of in line with each other you can hold down the alt key alt the alt key and you can move the box so that it fits in with with the cells so I'll do that one and then I'll hold down alt and move that one up here and then I'll hold down alt and move that one up here there you go and I'm gonna shrink this one down just a little bit I just like things to look nice there we go. So uh, spacing is just a tad bit off, but it's close enough that I don't care. Oops, don't need that. Um, so we have the income statement, the balance sheet, and the cash flow statement. Now another thing that we could do is uh, if we don't want to see the macro jump through these when it runs. So if you click, watch what happens if I click this button. It jumps through. It went to this one. It went to this one. Then it went to this one. And I don't really care to see that. So I'm going to go to my macro and I'm going to start the macro with um application dot screen updating equals false and so what that's going to do is going to turn off the screen when the macro runs so i don't have to look at it jumping around uh the problem is if i don't turn the screen back on it will stay off so i need to make sure at the end of my macro down here at the end sub the very last line needs to be application dot screen updating equals true so that at the end of my macro, it turns the screen back on. And so if you watch me run it, nothing happens, nothing happens, and then boom, it's over. And so I didn't have to watch it jump through those. Um, it doesn't make too much of a difference when you're only jumping twice or three times to get through these. Um, it matters a lot more if you're running through like 15 different sheets or if you're going all over the screen back and forth. Um, but I just like to do that. Most of my codes end, uh, end up running the application screen updating. It also speeds up the macro a little bit too uh, because it doesn't have to keep showing you things. Um, it's going to end up running faster because it can just the, the computer can just worry about doing the computations and not worry about showing you what it's doing. And then um, another thing that we might want to run is maybe we don't want uh, annual data for all of these. Um, so we can go turn off the annual part if we wanted to and so um, the way to do that is we can have another box um, for annual or quarterly and we can have a uh, string represent the annual uh, part of the URL because if we leave off this part that says and annual then it will pull quarterly data if we put it in there uh, put the and annual in there then it will pull annual data so the way to do that is we'll just add another box this is checkbox 14 um, and this one we'll put annual, just for our notes, annual quarterly. Um, so if box 14 is checked, then we'll add on a string to our URL. So uh, we'll start that at the beginning. So we'll say, uh, and I'm just going to copy this again, control C, and I'll put it above the income statement line. Actually, let's move that down. There we go. So I'm going to put it up here right after ticker. So we have, and then we don't, doesn't need to be, uh, well, yeah, it does need to be an if then. And so I'll put an end if, and then so now if input shape checkbox 14 is checked, then uh, we want to do annual data. So we'll call this um, ticker as string, and then we'll do another one, dim uh, URL, and we'll call it URL end um, as string as well. And we'll do uh, URL and equals uh, and in this case we want and annual. I'm gonna make sure we spell it right. Two N's uh, UAL. UAL end equals and annual and then we can do an else colon URL end equals nothing and if. And so what we're saying is if we have box 14 checked then we want annual. If not, then we don't want anything. And then that will help uh, for this, for our URL. So we need to change the URL to be and annual. We're going to get rid of that. Um, and we'll do quote and and quote. And we'll do URL end. And we'll go down and annual here. Quote and and quote. And between the ands is URL end. 
and then down here and annual becomes quote and and quote URL end so now this should be um, I'm gonna go over here and right click on this so I can edit it to say annual and I'll put a question mark so I'll know I get annual data and then I'll just put a little thing if not annual annual then quarterly data will will be pulled so that's just a little note to the user so that they can see I'm gonna drag that over one there so it's either annual or not um, and then so I'll uncheck that to make sure that it works and we'll run it real quick to see so let's see March December September yep so that's quarterly data right there March December September that's quarterly um, and March to yep so that's all quarterly and let's do let's say we just want one of them so we've got all of those gone just quarterly none of those so there you go and then you don't have to watch it jump around we'll go back to annual make sure it runs with the annual data December 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 yep so that's annual so there you go um, so those are just a couple quick up upgrades you can do to your uh, macro um, everything should still work the same so if I switch this to MSFT I could check or uncheck any of these boxes I could uh, go quarterly or um, annual income statements balance sheet or cash flow statement I can pull all of those and so uh, and then we also turned off the screen updating so that you can see or you don't see um, all the jumping around and then I'll call this pull data uh, so you can rename that that button the same way you rename the the, the, the uh, check boxes you right click on it you can edit text or you can just right click on it and click inside it and edit it uh, so hope that helps um, hope you got some cool tips that you can use for any projects you're doing if you need help with any of the projects you're using, uh, you can visit my website. It's in the description below. Um, and I actually do uh, f financial consulting for businesses as a living. So um, if you need help or something, you can hire me to do your projects for you. Uh, so that's it. Hope this uh, helped you. And thanks for watching.